Local residents Megan and Matt Borme moved to Tacoma Park, Maryland, and noticed it was missing a bookstore, so they decided to make one themselves. Photojournalist Jesse Burkett Hall shares the story of how countless hours of hard work created the People's Book in the heart of Tacoma. This is supposed to be a calming space where you can explore the world safely. No, <laughs> no, we're not sleeping. <laughs> We got Youth Liberation Now, which is kind of a cool high school kid run zine. We don't have the newspaper in here. Uh, our Wi Fi is okay, but really, you're not going to be refreshing Twitter a lot in here. We've got coffee and kombucha and 13,000 books for you to poke around at. <laughs> We're at People's Book in beautiful Tacoma Park, Maryland. Oh, will you show me the Turnaround Magazine? Yes, I would love to show you the Turnaround Yeah. Magazine. We moved to Tacoma Park a few years ago. We really wanted to walk our kids to a local bookstore. And we were so shocked that there wasn't a general purpose bookstore like this. The same conversation every couple has after dinner about, you know what somebody should really do in this town? Uh, somebody should open a bookstore. We've never owned a business. We've never sold a book until a month ago. It's been crazy. <laughs> um, the response in Tacoma Park has been phenomenal. <laughs> I like a big, solid book, personally. I like something 700 pages plus. I like to have a whole new world that I can immerse myself in. I was a really voracious reader growing up. I'm reading lessons in chemistry right now. People are a little bit zoomed out. There's a lot of technology fatigue, and folks are really coming back to physical things that you can touch and feel um, and then put on your shelf at home. So I think there really is this, this resurgence in real reading with paper. Our motto is people's book, you belong, and we mean it. Uh, we want to be a space for everyone to come in and feel comfortable and safe uh, and feel as though the, the books on the shelf reflect their experience and their lives uh, in, in a significant way. Have you also seen uh, this book? This book was a book club uh, this past month. Weeknight casserole collection. We have fiction right here next to me, nonfiction on the other side, social justice, health and medicine, biography, political science, and then a huge kids section. We're trying to do a little bit of everything so that a whole family can connect here. Outside of that, we've got a lot of stuff that I, I don't think other stores in the area have. From the Atomic Elbow, which is the best professional wrestling zine that exists, uh, to So You Think Your Cat Has Asthma, which is about an eight-page zine uh, telling the story of a cat with asthma. We can be a gathering place, and we can have a human person give you a recommendation of something that they have read, that they've enjoyed, and I think people are really responding to that. There was also a drugstore called People's Drug in D.C. for a long time that got eaten up by a corporate behemoth called CVS. Uh, and so we're just, again, sort of a throwback to that mom-and-pop shop sort of vibe. It's just been a whirlwind of a month, and my husband and I are experiencing all of the emotions. Uh, very tired, very excited, very welcomed in Tacoma Park. We're not going anywhere. Tacoma Park's stuck with us for at least the nine, next nine years and 11 months.